In this demonstration, we will show how to create and analyze a Elba and Dawn antenna. We will start by using CAD FECO, which is the graphical user interface for model setup in FECO. The basic workflow is to begin with the Construct tab and work through the tabs from left to right. The horn is designed for the L band, so we will work in centimeters. Set the model unit to centimeters. To create the waveguide of the horn, we will use a cuboid. We choose the second definition method and change the default dimensions of the cuboid as shown. Note we use mathematical expressions, but if we want a parametric model, we can also use variables. Set the label to Waveguide and click Create. On the View tab, click on Zoom to Extents to see the whole cuboid. Next, we create the flare of the horn. First, set the base center. By pressing down and holding Ctrl and Shift, we can snap the origin to the face center of the cuboid as shown. Then snap to the two edges of the cuboid to enter the bottom width and bottom depth. We enter the rest of the dimensions manually. Then create and zoom to extents. To ensure that a proper mesh connection is made later, we must make a union of the different parts. Select all the parts in the tree and on the Construct tab, click on Union. The aperture of the horn is still closed, so we select the face shown and delete. Do the same with the face at the junction between the waveguide and flare. The geometry needs no transformation, so we skip the Transform tab and open the Source Load tab. The horn will be excited with a waveguide port. Flip the horn on its back. Click on the back face of the waveguide in the 3D view and create. We then add a waveguide excitation on this port by clicking on Waveguide Excitation. We only want the fundamental mode excited so we use the default settings. Now restore the isometric view by selecting this icon on the View tab. The frequency must still be set. On the Source Load tab, click on Frequency and set a single frequency of 1.645 GHz. The next stage of the model setup is the output requests. On the Request tab, click on Near Fields. We will use a Cartesian coordinate system to calculate the near fields in the aperture of the horn. Enter the start and end coordinates as well as the number of field points as shown. A preview of the requested near field points is shown in blue before we click Create. Also request far fields. Click on 3D pattern for a quick selection and create. We can hide the field requests by right clicking on them and selecting show hide. We zoom to extents this time by pressing the F5 shortcut. When the geometry is a few wavelengths in size, such as this horn antenna, we can save computational resources by using higher order basis functions, or HOBF. This is activated as shown. We are now ready to mesh the horn. On the Mesh menu, click on Create Mesh. We select a standard mesh. CatFigo meshes the geometry according to the wavelength. Users are advised to familiarize themselves with the meshing guidelines as given in the FICO user's manual. Now we can run FECO from the Solve Run tab. FECO provides a standard output during the solution process. It is important to note any errors or warnings. They must be corrected by going back to CAD FECO. Once FECO has finished, we must run POST FECO for post-processing. 
we will view the near fields in the aperture of the horn. On the Home tab, click on Near Field and select Near Field 1. If we want to see a graph of the far fields, first select the type of graph. This will be Cartesian. Then click on Far Field 1. To wrap the graph, on the Results palette on the right, for independent axis select Theta Wrapped. To view the other principal plane pattern cut, right click on the Far Field 1 trace and select Duplicate Trace. Then change the fire angle for the second trace to 90 degrees. To obtain the graph in DB, select both traces and select DB. To see a polar graph, go to the Display tab and select Polar Copy. This concludes the demonstration. For help in setting up your own models, please contact Vico Support.